Welcome back to DIY University by Sally Beauty. Let's talk about double processing with lightener. So you're looking to go blonde, but your hair turned red, orange, or yellow. That's because you haven't completed the two-step process. Double processing with lightener takes two steps. The first step is lightening with a mixture of lightener and developer to lift the hair. After the hair is lifted, step two takes place. Step two is to use a toner to neutralize or enhance your color result. Think of if you're like a deep brunette, right? And you wanna be a blonde. When we apply lightener to our hair, it enters the cuticle and it's gonna start dissolving those melanin pigments. Our hair becomes more translucent, but also that underlying pigment that exists is revealed. So although our hair is lighter, it might not necessarily be the tone we want it to be. So the second part of the two-step process is we're gonna go ahead and add in another tone so that we can get the color we want. There are two different types of lightener. There's cream lightener and powder lightener. Cream lightener is great for anyone with a sensitive scalp or as a beginner because it only gives you about six to eight levels of lift and it's gonna be easier on the scalp because of its hydrating formula. The second type of lightener is powder lightener. Powder lightener is great for more dramatic effects within the hair. This can give you seven to nine levels of lift, be used for many different techniques, and is also great if you've had previously colored hair. Now, if you're someone who's starting with deep dark brunette hair and you know you need that exact seven to nine levels of lift and you need that extra horsepower, you're gonna wanna use the powder lightener because you need to get through all those levels of lift, which maybe the cream lightener, as gentle and wonderful as it is, isn't going to give you the most impact on the first try. Before you begin, remember there are some potential impacts that can happen to your hair when you go to lighten it. The feeling overall of your hair is gonna change and this is attributed to the porosity, the elasticity, and the texture of your hair. So when we're looking at the hair structure, the hair cuticle opens and closes when we're doing chemical processes. If we do more dramatic chemical processes, our porosity can change. You might add color to your hair after lightening your hair, and it actually goes on very, very extreme, almost a little too dark. But then two days later, it falls out of the hair that much more quickly. That's because our porosity is off. So what we wanna do is control that porosity by adding in moisture and hydration. Elasticity is the ability of your hair to stretch while wet. So you might've noticed maybe when your hair's dry, it almost feels brittle and it can break off really easily. That's why it's safe to follow the rules of lightening so that we don't take our hair past the point of breakage. Texture refers to the curl pattern or even the feeling of your hair. Depending on what your hair texture is, lightener can alter that. Maybe your hair feels a bit drier after lightening or maybe you had more of a tight curl pattern and then after using lightener, it loosened up a bit. That's because we're changing the chemistry of the hair. So now that we know when we lighten our hair, the hair changes, what can we do to help Help those changes. Get frequent trims, get a sulfate free shampoo, get a color depositing shampoo or conditioner to keep your color fresh and use conditioning masks catered to your hair needs. And don't forget to use a heat protectant and lower the heat setting on your hot tools. And if the condition of your hair allows, a good protein treatment every four to six weeks may be needed. Thanks for watching DIY University by Sally Beauty. Be sure to like and subscribe and click on one of these videos. Is this going on YouTube?